All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad, and in today's video, we're back playing Inscription. Still trying to figure out what's going on here for real. I don't know what happens if we hit a new game at this point either. That's something else that's kind of iffy. I don't know if it's going to start all the way over or if it's going to start from the beginning of Inscription Part 2, I guess. I don't really know how to describe what it really is. But we are picking up right back where we left off. What I'm figuring is going to happen is we're going to have to defeat each of these skeletons to figure out who they are and probably explore a little deeper down these two areas to find stuff. I also feel like we're eventually going to, have to find more cards to improve on each of the starting decks and partially there might be a need to have started with a specific deck. So maybe if I started off with the cursed deck, these these card packs that I'm getting, I could use immediately instead of having to wait a little bit to do so. But I don't know. I think it should be fine. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I don't know if I said that already, but you know, helps me grow the channel. This dude froze to death then, huh? It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. All right. Let's see if we can take him out. I kind of don't like this deck at all. Really, it's this card right here that does zero damage that gets on my nerves. And a lot of my cards only do one damage per hit and a lot of that's just really what's getting me oh i should have put it in front of the other one that one's even frozen too so i'm not gonna do any damage that was a terrible play i find these fights to be a little less exciting just because there's less happening on the screen I do kind of like the music though a little more. I don't, I still have to figure out what this does though. So it doesn't give me anything up here. It looks like it gives me some sort of resource over here, but I don't know. That Reaper's gonna fuck me up in a second. I haven't dealt enough damage back to sway it over. And I still can't summon anything pretty, any anything good yet either. Uh, I'll summon this right here to keep that from moving so it dies from the Reaper. And then I'll put this bomb looking thing over here just to make sure this thing dies basically. Uh, and then also not to kill whatever this skeleton is. That way I don't have extra damage coming my way. And this shit's hot, things back up too, okay. So I'm starting to get the game going my way now. Looks like there are some stronger cards in the deck too. So maybe I don't have to worry about that as much. Also, it looks like we still went with six. I did something last time when I was editing, I caught it. But now I'm a little less cold. Take a pack. Oh, on the house. Oh wait, not oh. Anyways, whatever. Another rare card. Uh, you did beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's K Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. Uh, you found a piece of an epithet. So Casey's tombstone on the left. I can't remember where he said he was. I think he said the middle one. Your name is Royal far right I think I walked up to the wrong one last time so then this dude was hit by a falling piece of ice does not hold a grudge can't tell that one yet or at least I haven't been paying attention enough to tell and this one has to be the dog so, I mean, at this point, well, let me check out what this well is. Put up an Ebbetsid piece. Uh, the defibrillator failed. Put more in here. Uh, you found a card in the well. The ink is running from the moisture. 
Uh, when drowned souls damage another creature, that creature perishes. Oh. Cool. Okay, just making sure there's nothing else. All right, there's something else above here too. I don't know if I came in here already. Uh, definitely not. There was no cure. These kind of look like the playing pieces from like challenges from before. Ooh, oh. Uh Oh, is this how we change what we look like? Damn, I should have kept that first dude. That's not bad. Now let's see if we can beat him this time. I'm pretty much done. I'm only two pieces away, and I think I have to beat this dude and go downstairs to figure it out. I'm gonna go check out somewhere else to see uh basically if there's something else I can do. Two equals three it looks like. No. No fish. No pass. Okay, so that's the angler. I guess this over here is the trapper then. So we were before we were interacting with people related to Leshy. Uh you pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. A uh, beastly card pack. Okay. Mantis God, of course. Always got to take Mantis God. Oh no, this is the prospector. Dag nabbit. That dang hound got herself lost again. You think you're getting get? You think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof, me, me girl. All right. All right. See what the fuck's going on in here, because we know we already know about Leshy, and he's sitting in the same goddamn corner too. Two seven three, right? Oops, there we go. Uh, you take a stinking pile of meat from the safe. Forgot about that, huh? There's a faint odor of the meat once there. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, cool. Uh, the drug creaked open and you found a pack inside. Another beast pack. We like the, uh, facility, whatever. Like that card or I like that sigil at least. Oh, we got two packs. Uh, a horror call. There's a lot of cards I haven't seen yet coming up, which makes sense because, you know, we were essentially playing the short version of the game prior to this. So what do I sit at the table and play Leshy? Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold, I am Leshy, the scribe of beast. We share a desire for you to challenge me. But first, but do I have to help everyone outside? I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera. Not the one I used to create beast, beast cards. This one is a mere re replica. You may use it to create photos of the beast in these woods. Uh, my subordinates, the, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper they each require a photo before they will consider battling you return to me when they are all defeated okay that's what i figured i was gonna have to fight them first I, did i come in from over here no i didn't what is this okay the traitor again uh you don't perchance have any pelts no Okay, so maybe I can get some pelts from here then. I can buy packs if I wanted to. What's this? Okay, well, that's the currency then. Great. Good to know. Bro, 
squirrel isn't a bad card to grab though well actually i guess for the beast deck a squirrel wouldn't be a bad card to grab i don't know how to get at it okay so i can't go left and i can't go right oh okay so there's the dog there's something in the waters right there i guess maybe i have to get the angler to turn around well i'll be darned that's my girl I'll let you pass and into yonder pond. But Dag Nabbit, first we gotta battle. Oh shit, okay. Of course he has the dog. So the scroll's gonna come in for free. I wonder how that hand plays then. I have nothing that I can put down that's gonna deal damage immediately. Uh, Bloodhound leads over to block. Okay. I only have four right now, but he'll block anything new that comes in. And this will force that to stay there so the coyote doesn't come in. Or at least the coyote doesn't deal damage uh, to me. So as these fights seem to go longer and longer, it seems like the battle goes better and better for me. I think early game is where this deck was going to struggle. Cool, great. I need to get more of my own cards, but I think the issue is that I'm not on the side where my deck is, which is why I was talking about possibly starting with the wrong hand for how the game is played. Ooh, what's that? Uh, if Mage Knight's owners controls no, no Mox cards, Mage Knight perishes. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the way to yonder pond is clear. All right. This must be a bucket of fish for the angler to move. Uh, place the photo of bait on the line, of course. Yes. So do I get a shark card now or am I just way better at fishing than this angler is? Cause God damn, that was easy. Hey dog. Yep. Yeah. You. I didn't even have to talk to you. You already knew about it. That a fucking whale? Oh, that would have been way better. I can out damage this one salmon for a while. Or at least I'll start to be able to over time, depending on what cards I get. But if I get shit like this, then I won't be able to. And then with another one coming in, I'm definitely uh, going to be struggling. I still can't put anything else down either. I can't put any of these down, but it gave all of them to me pretty early. None of them are really, this one could have took a hit, I guess, and survived, but I don't know. Maybe I misplayed on that one, but still, ooh, didn't know dude was, well, actually I didn't know that. Open that dude one left. This will tie the game out, but then they'll do four damage back and almost kill me. I can't do five and two either. I can really still only put down one card. Oh, 
Okay, so now we're at 10 plus range. But I'm still stuck. I don't really like this deck, actually. Or at least the cards that I have in this deck are kind of shitty. We now can put down more than one at once, but there's really no point in doing so. But I should be able to win with this hand right here. Oh shit, that's it right there. Okay. Oops. Okay. Now it's going to be shitty still. Okay, cool. We won. Finally. Jeez. This shit was just kind of back and forth because I kept diving underwater. You beat me. You pass first. Take. Okay, so this way is definitely going a lot smoother. Ruby Mox can't be sacrificed. Well, Ruby Mox is on the board. It provides an orange gem to its own owner. Wow, that was a sentence. Anyways, I said it wrong. That was the only issue. Word continues. Find fish for Leshy. Okay, so I guess this is where the trapper and the what you call it's gonna be. It's definitely creatures eyes popping up in the background, but I don't think those are gonna mean anything. Patches of dried blood crackle as you pry the chest of oh whoa hang on a second. Patches of dried blood crackled as you pry to open the ch pry the chest open, but two packs were inside. What's that? Uh, activate pay three energy to increase the power and stealth. That's another aspect of the game because I know there's yeah there's a bunch in here. Let me see if I can set this trap where it needs to be to catch something. Hopefully this isn't too graphic, but I'm going to leave it in either way. Gotcha ass. I'm going to leave it in either way. I guess I leave it there. All right. So I got, I'll show this picture to the trader who's inside of the house right because otherwise there's nobody else the real question is will i be able to beat leshy you have brought up help i am pleased and another turn of skinning knives it is time to set another trap uh i smelt the hit okay cool you creep Oh, I'm fighting. Anyways, uh, yeah, prey escapes and the trapper waits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshy awaits. Okay, cool. Hopefully I'll be able to beat Leshy. I got stuck fighting just like the minions of, uh, what's the, what's the name's Gamora? Ooh, oh, I guess that was the head flipping back the right way. Let's see if we can finish this episode out by beating Leshy. You had bested the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler, and the enigma enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beast. Your ambition is to replace PO3? Good. Though if you do not defeat me, you will not get that chance. Steal yourself, for my beast will show you no mercy. Only things. Okay. I assume that if I lose this one, I'll die and like it's over. Uh, do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at a moment of their demise. And my beasts are f famished. Okay. So I guess I should be more concerned about just losing my creatures then.
Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll need a photo of that one caught that one's cost. I was gonna live make a creature right now. If this dude's gonna take a card off the board every single time, uh, before that one, oh, it's every time it dies, duh. Hmm. Wanna get rid of this card? Oh fuck. Finally the sigil. This one doesn't oh this one moves, I guess. Uh that would do. The deaths of your creatures will form a beautiful mo mosaic. So we're gonna make a death card and put it in, huh? Yeah, that's probably where it's gonna show up at. Actually, I don't know if that was already there or not. Anyways. Uh I'll put this down just for defense for now. Moles dig down and pops up on block. Yep. Oh fuck, he's gonna do two damage now. Okay, no, I'm still good. Oof, that was close. So far we're doing fine to beat him, I think. way when the elk comes back around this what is this thing uh you won't be needing those i have something better oh you must like them though the stitch work is my own uh they, they are okay this is fine i like these cards actually they're just gonna be running all over the place and hitting uh now we put them to the test my beast enjoy a varied diet that is the mole man? Of course it is, you big bitch. Anyways. Uh, well, now that we have something else that can deal damage to go here. Everything else is going to deal one damage. Mole man's going to eat all of these hits. I did not see that bear coming in right there. That's going to be shitty. As long as this bear isn't flying, so that's good at least. I'll be able to out damage the bear and keep it from doing any damage at this point. Especially since it gave me all these one energy cards to go in. Cool, great. All right, so looks like we beat Leshy this time. The great scribe was inscribably incredible. Wow. Really made that word up, huh? Anyways, it's later than usual. Uh, the great scribe was incredibly bested. Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. So what does that mean for that? Uh, avenging Druid. Yeah, triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw, the scribe of beast was defeated. That, we that you were able to defeat me, beggar's belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that your our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent? Hell nah. Anyways, give me my fucking cards. 
We got a lot of mantis gods. What is that? Uh, while Sapphire Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem to, to its owner. Battery low? What's going on? I guess that's for whatever's happening with the recording. Describe a beast was defeated. Okay, so there's nothing else on this side for me. Stop. What the, okay, what the fuck do you want? What is that? Oh, PO3. I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so bad. It's not it's no wonder we're back here again. And we wouldn't be we would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at the at this face. Because you'll never see it again. Okay, so this is the PO3 talking to the dude as the stout on. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast oh there's a dog barking outside distracting me anyways could he, he could have gave me some cards or some shit that would have been nice i pushed it too far that last time why don't they see to live as a beast would be the noblest thing even so lowly a creature as a stout interesting I was get the fuck out of here. I can't remember what the bridge. Oh, I guess the bridge builder is done now. Uh, well, let's check out what happened over here. So I guess we have to beat all corners of the world. I don't know, but that's going to be all for this one. So thanks for watching. We managed to get through everything with the beast tamer. Next time we're going to check out, I think the robot spot, because nothing's really changed about our deck to even try and attempt fighting uh Gamora again so we'll go back to PO we'll, we'll go over to PO3 and see if we can make our deck a little better before we keep going but that's all stuff for the next video so don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time